In this I will be talking about specialisation. What is specialisation? This is where you decide to only do one sport from an early age, around the ages of nine, 8 or 9, and it takes a lot of hard work and dedication. Many big name athletes have gone through early specialisation and have made it as a big star within their sport, such as Tiger Woods and Lionel Messi. A study by Hodges, Kerr, Starks, Weir and Nan Nanindu in 2004 found that involvement in other forms of training had a negative effect on performance. However, their study considered a current involvement rather than involvement over their athlete's career. This shows that doing other sports can be detrimental and you would be better to just specify in one sport because this will give you a better chance of making it as a professional in that field. Tiger Woods is a good example as he specialised in golf from an early age, which is a big part of why he's one of the best golfers ever. Despite the in this increase in a global sports participation, fitness, physical fitness levels of children and adults are declining and more people around the globe are becoming obese and physically inactive. The efforts to specialise youth sports underlie the effects of reduced general opportunity for all children to participate. This shows that despite the specific training within one sport, it can be detrimental to children's overall health. This could be because people are solely focusing on certain sports and some sports aren't as active as others or some sports require you to be certain weights. For example, to be a prop in rugby union, you are usually needed to be around 20 stone and six foot tall which is generally not a good weight to be whereas in boxing you are in much better physical condition for example anthony joshua is 17 and a half stone but it is pure muscle and is in a very good physical condition where props in rugby union and is in such good physical condition and weigh a, a bit more diversification this is the participation in a variety of sports and activities through which an athlete develops multi, multilateral physical, social and psychological skills, Caruso 2013. This is more common in America than it is in the UK as when they, do, when they go to college they are made to do multiple sports. Research shows that the positive developmental outcomes are associated with sport participation are stronger for kids who spent time in multiple activities. Veely and Chase 2016. This shows that diversification can further help the aid and development of, a, of the athlete by learning skills in multiple sports and being able to see if this, any skills are transferable between sports. The first advantage with diversification is that the athletes will be able to participate for longer over the years. It will increase motiva motivation to participate in sports as well as it will decrease the chance of burnout because the athletes will be participating in different sports and doing different movements. It will help with the cognitive development in the younger athletes. It will also help improve the coordination of the athlete as they are learning different skills and applying them in sessions. It can also reduce the risk of injuries as you are doing as you are using different body parts and not the same one repeatedly. Some disadvantages of diversification are that you are learning a lot of sports and different skills which could ultimately limit your progression in a specific sport. The mental stress it can put you under trying to learn to be good at so many different sports can have a detrimental effect as you are trying to be the best in every sport you do and certain sports can be much more demanding than others so if you are trying to do well in them all it will put you under immense mental pressure. Doing so many sports also has an effect physically as well as mentally. Your body will be under severe fatigue because of the amount of work you had to do in some, some sports that it wouldn't have time to recover fully before your next session which can lead to you becoming susceptible to injuries and this can cause you issues in the long run. In my opinion, early specification is more beneficial if you want to go into that sport as a professional as there are no distractions and you are focusing solely on that sport. Specialisation can lead to injuries however, which is through doing the same movements repeatedly. 
and it could cause you to peak earlier in your career and have to retire earlier as a result. However, if you want a wide range of skills, this will be you it be more beneficial to do diversification as you would ex experience different sports and try different things. This diversification can be bad as you don't get the same exposure to one sport which will lead to you not having as much chance of going professional and also the difference in recovery times because your body doesn't get the same amount of required rest and recovery that it needs to be back 100% fit before you train again.